million miles from Earth. Oh, only 30 million? Well, uh, no wonder it looks so close, huh? <laughs> Smart ass. Smart ass. Hey, look, here they come. Yeah. Where'd this even last? Yeah, this should be the heaviest shower this year. <sighs> Holy shit. Jesus, that's bright. That one's not gonna vaporize. It's gonna make it through the atmosphere. Wow. <laughs> It's a hell of a tale, huh? Uh -huh. It's time for bed. Time to miss it. It was incredible. Well, come on, it's bedtime. But it's just getting started. Yeah, but you have school tomorrow. Well, so do you. Yeah, that's why we're all going to bed, right? Uh, not me. Me? Alright, and now it's time to go to bed. How do you expect me to become an astronaut if you won't let me stay up late? Did you finish all your homework? Did you finish yours? Today. Oh, Mad Dog Wilson. What was he there for? Public relations, I guess. <laughs> you guess. Hey, you hear that? Hear what? Thunder, Dad. You must be getting pretty old. Wise guy, huh? Oh, hey. Forgot. A penny. 58D. Mint condition. Put it in the jacket. Get under the covers. Come on. Come on. Come on. Love you. I love you too. Good night. Sweet dreams. Some invoices, invoices. Okay. 
Okay, on our ledger, we have accounts receivable, payments, Hi, Mom. and sundries. Where's Dad? Did you make your bed? <laughs> it's made. What are you doing? It's not what you think. <laughs> You'll get caught. No, not me. George, why aren't you dressed? You want coffee? Uh, yeah. Oh, what happened to your other super dad? All right. I lost it. Leather ones. It's kind of muddy out there. What's wrong with you, sweetheart? Do you feel all right? I'll get you another pair when I'm at the Fed Mart. Are you sure there wasn't anything over the hill, Dad? Nothing. It was just a bad dream. That's all. What happened to your neck? Sit down, David. Eat it while it's hot, you guys. I'm going. But, uh, Mama. Uh, look, eat that or you'll be late. Let me walk into the bus stop. You were right, son. There is something over the hill. Return them to me first thing in the morning. You know this is Frog Week. I collected these fresh specimens this morning at the marsh area at Copper Hill. Now, who can tell me what these two red sacks are? Which ones, Mrs. McKelch? Will you show me on mine? Yes. Gardner, 
this may be the way you behave at your house. But he's your... This is not the way you behave in my classroom. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Look, he's bleeding. Heather, you supervise while I take this uncontrollable young man to the school nurse. And I hope you need a tetanus shot. <laughs> David Gardner has gone ahead and cut himself. And it probably serves him right. Oh, yes. Thank you. What? I'm sorry. I said, this silly boy has cut himself. I don't know what's got into him. He's uncontrollable. I'll take it from here, Mrs. McClatch. McKelch. Somewhere. No, I looked all over. Well, he probably got a ride to the base with some of the guys. No, I don't think so. Something's wrong. What's the matter? Dad's weirded out. Oh, honey, you know your dad. Mm. Don't worry. Now I'm worried. Hi, Chief. Thank you for coming. Sure, Mrs. Gardner. You know Officer Kenny? Ma'am. Well, George isn't here. His car is here, but he's not here. Uh, you have any idea where he might be? Um, maybe he went back over the hill. Oh, David. Excuse me? Copper Hill. He went up there this morning to take a look. David thought he saw a plane crash there last night. No, I didn't. I saw a UFO, huge lights, everything. Just David, close no, and... stop it. I'm sorry. I tell you what, Mrs. Gardner. We'll go up and have a look. Oh, thank you. Look, it's just back there. Let me show you.
didn't hear nothing about a plane crash. Me either. Gee, I haven't been up here since I was a kid. George, you scared the hell out of me. This is Ed. Ed, this is my wife. This is my son. How do you do? Couldn't do much better. And yourself? Just fine. George, where were you? You know, we called the police. Well, I guess I'd better be going. I have to pick up Alice and Heather. See you later, Ed. What happened to you? Where did that guy pop up from? That's Heather's dad. She sits next to me in class. I think he's her dad. Ed works for the phone company. The switching division. Well, since when do you work for the phone company? We had a special meeting. The new hookup at the base. Well, I'm home now. I see you're back. Your little lad's got quite an imagination. Yes, I know. Thank you for coming, Chief. It looks like we found him ourselves. Everything's fine now. Thanks. Our pleasure. Goodbye, man. Certainly is beautiful up there. Over the hill. We'll take a walk. After you do the dishes. After I do the dishes? George, you're acting very strange. Not hungry, David? 
You feel all right? I don't think he's feeling well, George. Hmm. I have an idea. Why don't we all go on a picnic? Up at the hill. Mom, you've got classes. We'll go this afternoon. It's wonderful up there. Your father showed me a place you've never seen before. Is this a joke? We'll have a wonderful time. I'll pack us a lunch. Hamburgers. You like that, don't you? I don't want to go. Hey, little fella. Give your mom a hug. Midnight. No problem. George Gardner has been delegated. What is the 
problem. I told you this boy was trouble. And he needs to be severely punished. David, what's the matter? He she, knocked she... over a defenseless little girl. But I... And he's a little snoop. Please, Mrs. McCouch, why don't we just talk with each other? Give him to me. Please let me talk to him. David, go inside my office. You're pushing it, sister. I'll be back for him in five minutes. Five minutes. It's okay, David. Just relax. Relax. You don't understand. What? What don't I understand? You know, David, that whatever you tell me stays in this room. I'm a nurse, you know, I'm here to help. I mean, I'm supposed to say that, but it really is true, David. Okay, first can I see the back of your neck? some kind of story. It's not a story. A UFO lands in the back of your house and puts something in your mom and dad's neck and then it gets your teacher and the police and your friend Heather and her father, Ed, from the telephone company. How did it get Mrs. McKelch? She said the frogs came from around Copper Hill. She must have been there. Stay right there a minute. Well, Mrs. McKelch, David seems concerned about an injury to you. To your neck. My neck? Yes, he, he says that you're wearing a bandage. Why, yes. I have a boil on my neck. A boil? A boil. You know, I could help you clear that up if you just let me take a look at it. Don't touch me. I want the boy. If you don't give him to me. You have a lot of nerves, sister. Oh, boy. This is going to be a mess. Okay. You can go out the window. Now, this is the key to my back door. You wait for me, and I'll come and see you when, when class is let out. Where do you live? 462 South Arroyo. Okay. Bye. Where's David? He's not feeling well. Why don't you come back later?
He's still with the nurse. His parents will take him. He may be in danger. Well, Sue, what the hell kind of nurse are you, anyway? I'm sorry, Mr. Gardner. I, I just left the office for one moment, and when I got back, he was gone. What did he talk to you about? He was upset. He's having a problem with one of the teachers. I told you, he needs psychiatric help. Is that all he said? Yes. It was only a small problem one of the teachers.
then you get me winners. You bring them both to me, or I'll have your heart and liver out, David Gardner. David Gardner! David Gardner! David Gardner! I'll get you! I'll get you! child, are you? This is where the tunnel opening was. I don't see anything. It's gone. But I'm positive it was here. I'm positive. I swear it. It's not, David. They moved it. They can move tunnels. David, it's just too crazy for me. Yes, but you saw the band-aids on the back of their necks. Yes, but they're just band-aids. Okay, then we have to go to the hill. We do? Does it look to you like anything's landed there? David, we're already in trouble, both of us, because of my helping you run away. Now I can make up a story that'll smooth things over. Your house is right down there. Look! Hold on the bag of powder. Straight up the hill and over into the canyon. Johnson, you got everything? All set.
You got anything? Yeah. Real strong reading here. Yeah, I'm following you. Go ahead. Picking it up, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm picking it up. Oh, 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 no! Calling. Let's take police. You missed the field trip, David Gardner. He must be messing with the lines.
This way. What in God's name am I doing here? What you saw those two guys? I don't know what I saw. It's okay to be afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm petrified. Me too. something it's okay we're the police we're here to help Gardner's son? Those are the two guys that got sucked under the sand.
Okay, Miss Magnuson. David? Now, what's this all about? David? Has this got anything to do with your father? I don't mean to be rude, but I haven't got much time. What happened was... No. Dave... I have to see the back of your neck first. The back of my neck? Yes. Please, General, he's serious. First. Well, I guess I'm next. Wired. The detonator is set. You'd better hurry, or you just might blow it. I understand how it must sound, General, but I can assure you, it's absolutely true. I don't know. People being sucked under the sand. A lot of aliens running around loose underneath the town. That's a little hard to swallow. Excuse me, sir. NASA does confirm a visual sighting. A UFO. Two nights ago during the meteor shower, but radar reported no strike. In fact, sir, radar reported nothing at all. General, what if the ship absorbed energy? It wouldn't show up on radar because no one drew bounce back, right? Mm -hmm. Sir, search teams were sent out to look for signs of impact or landing. The two men who checked out the Copper Hill area gave it a clean report. That's because they were sucked out of the sand. They're all part of it. Walker, would you please come in here? Ma'am, I'd like you and the boy to leave us for a moment. Yes, sir. Sir? Walker, I want you to escort these two people to the briefing room. Yes, sir. Please follow me. Notify NASA that we're going to do just a routine security check on them men. I want to make an issue out of this. Yes, sir. The general's ready to see you now. Sorry to disturb you, boys. Just have a couple of questions, routine, of course. About the Copper Hill search. You men are going to tell me just what the hell this is all about. Uh, 
NASA hot shots back over here right away. Maybe they can tell us what the hell this is all about. And I want the nurse and the kid brought back here right now. Lock off the launch area. Yes, sir. senior scientist on the Millennium Project. This is Dr. Weinstein. How do you do, David? We work with your father. How are you, David? Your dad's talked about you a lot. And this is Linda Magnuson, a friend of David's. Uh, doctor, I didn't think the Viking mission was found in the sign of life. Except for this one photo I saw in a magazine of these things on the surface that looked like pyramids. I saw that photograph. Yeah, and what about that huge thing that kind of looked like a monkey's head. It was in all the papers. Uh, that was fake, right? On the contrary, there were other photos, too sensational to be made public. But there is not enough water to support life. On the surface, that's why we're looking below ground this time. And if there is, David, it may not want to be found. The tunnels. It may not want us up there. <laughs> really is no other choice. No. Please, General Wilson, any further delay. We'll miss the launch window. Mars won't wait for us, General. I understand, gentlemen, and we will go tonight. But first, we must be able to guarantee security. We still don't know what the hell we're dealing with here. What would you suggest that we do? I want to put a temp freeze on countdown until we're all clear. Then it's your show. You got yourself a deal. Tell Mission Control I'm authorizing. I know. I'll be right down. Good doctor. General, we're going down to control. We'll be back as soon as we can. General, listen. Uh, we have a break in security, sir. What? There's an LOX truck on the runway, sir. trying to steal equipment. Steal what? Copper wire, sir. A lot of it was loaded onto a base truck. Copper wire? Sir, Operation for Space Radar back in service. Anything coming in? Negative, sir. They're already here, General. David, 
Can you take me to that place? To the sand pit? Yeah, it's right behind my house. Is alert force standing by? Captain Curtis, take a platoon to get down to the school. Look so worried, boy, we're not out of options yet. Marines have no qualms about killing Martians. You know what we're doing? Yes, I do. Back there's all clear. General Wilson! Yes, David! I have an idea. If we can just try to talk to them... Sir, maybe... we just received positive confirmation of a tunnel system beneath the school. Captain Curtis has entered and heading due west, with no resistance. Due west, that's towards us! Sir, engineers got the demo charges in. You want to show us where you want the winches? Yeah, let's take a look! David, David, please stay put. Check that area, see if those marines are secure. Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Gun. Our sector of fire is 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Get down! 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 Get down!
bitches! I'm Mark Weinstein, uh, Dr. Weinstein. Uh, I'm from SETI, S-E-T-I, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. And... You do understand me, don't you? You do. You do understand me. You see, they do understand me. Let's recon these tunnels. David, it'll be all right. David, what's wrong? No, David!
go down there! Recon, get ready! Go! trouble to us already, David Gardner. They didn't do any harm to you, my mom, dad, Linda, all the others. They're good people. They would never hurt you. It's too late. It's too late. Shut up, I'm talking to him. Please. It's too late. I'll stay after school every day for the rest of my life. You will just shut up a second. <laughs> Don't you understand? You can't do this to people. You can't control them. It's wrong. You're not going to get away One, with two, it. One, two, three, four, five. Please, can't you give me my mom and dad back and then the another? Mrs. McHale. <laughs> It's your turn now, David Gardner. No way! Poor little guy. Poor little guy. Oh, <laughs> 
Go back! Rinaldi! Stop. General? Oh, Christ, no. No, Rinaldi. No! General, stay back! Muster your troops. Aye, aye, sir. We've got to get back to the ship to save her. Lock and load. I wasn't trained for this.
Sir, I know it sounds crazy, but that just might do the trick if we can just figure out how to make it work in time. General Wilson, fuel, it needs fuel, copper. Copper is what they use. I saw them load it. Well, maybe a penny will do it. Damn, I had a whole bag full. Great Scott, hasn't anybody got a penny? We don't carry loose change into combat, sir. Sir, a minute and 15 seconds. Damn it. 58D, mint condition. You aim on fire.
And you started chasing me down the hill. And then everything exploded into a great big white light. Mm. Boy, that is really weird, David. Actually, I like the stuff about the Martians coming to steal the copper. But it seems so real. Yeah, copper for energy, huh? Well, David, you got nothing to worry about. Your penny collection is still here. You know what it seems to me? It seems to me like your dream was full of all sorts of things that happened to you today. Like uh, your penny collection. Even Mad Dog Wilson coming to your school. But I was so scared. There is nothing to be afraid of, David Gardner. Mom. Tomorrow we will take a picnic up at the hill. <laughs> Feel better now, Vicky, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think you better get some sleep. You'll be yeah. pretty tired at school tomorrow. Mm. Good night, son. Good night, Dad. Good night, sweetheart. Mom? You want me to leave this open a little bit? Mm. No, it's okay. 